two weeks, three weeks, maybe then the season starts for most clubs and there's still some teams they don't have their team ready. Uh, building a team is actually one of the most important things that the clubs uh, should do uh, up front and uh, what I mean by that is plan it uh, way ahead. Now uh, I worked in the Middle East, uh, still working there and uh, it's traditionally that the teams only start now building their teams. Now I want to uh, look back a little bit on what is important in my opinion to build a team. Now, uh, one of my m favorite coaches and players of all time, Johan Cruyff, was very famous for building good teams. Barcelona in the 1990s, uh, the Dream Team was a good example of a good balanced uh, team with players that fit together. Uh, he had a few quotes. Choose the best player for each position and you will not end up with a strong starting 11 but with 11 strong ones. What does he want to say? That you don't choose the best player for each position, you should choose the players that fit together. That is very important, that's a whole different uh, philosophy. Uh, why you can't beat a richer club? I've never seen a bag of money score a goal. I found it actually really funny, but uh, looking at uh, that quote means that uh, you should, it, it does not depend on only money, you have to be creative, you have to look for that talent, you have to look for the certain qualities that fit with your, uh, fit with your team and the players that fit together. Now, uh, there are a few key questions in my opinion that you should ask before you start uh, uh, putting a team together. Now, let's start with the first one, in my opinion, what is the culture? Uh, and the playing style of the club, what do the supporters want to see? It is very important to, to know that in order to know which players you have to, to get for your team. Secondly, what is the budget for the club? Uh, I see so many clubs uh, bringing mediocre players, uh, average players, and uh, overrated, uh, overpaid, and somehow uh, they still keep doing that. So uh, stay within your budget uh, and make a good planning uh, of the idea about which players do you want. How much does the club depend on their own youth players? How many are playing actually in the first team? Uh, the amount of teams, clubs that I saw uh, where they are afraid to put young players inside while they have good players in their younger development, uh, uh, how do you call it, uh, down in, in, in the youth development uh, part uh, or in the second team, uh, not uh, scared to, be, to give a chance. Uh, many times you have good quality within your own kitchen and uh, be, be sure you use it. Long-term contracts versus ending contracts. Uh, which players have to stay and uh, or are not good enough? You need to know players with a long-term contract, uh, they're getting a little bit comfortable. Uh, players with ending contracts, are you on time to renew, etc. So you need to know about their con contract uh, situation and to also anticipate on that uh, which players do we need to push uh, to get competition and which one we need to get rid of. Age of the players group, very important. Uh, are we still good for the upcoming years to uh, stay with the same group? Or is our team getting too old? Or do we need more experience? Uh, age, in my opinion, mid-20s is a perfect, uh, perfect age that is a player on his strongest. How many positions are double occupied? How do we create competition with each other? Uh, many teams have uh, five players on one position and one player on one and the other position means there's complete disbalance. Do we have national team players? Do we need to anticipate they will leave uh, on certain days that we uh, we can uh, replace them? Most important statistics on goal scoring. In football, scoring goals is the most important. Uh, players that have can give assists. Uh, injuries. How many players during the year always are injured? players that always cause issues. There are always players in the team, every year they cause, they cause problems for a coach and somehow still we keep them with the team. Uh, so th these things are very important to know. These seven key questions are for me very, it's like a starting point. Key positions. Um, yeah, for me it's very simple. <laughs> what is the essence of football? Is uh, one, the one that uh, scores the goal and the one that uh, stops the goals. These two key positions, the goalkeeper and the striker, is for me the most important thing. Uh, you can play a very bad, you can play a very bad game, and uh, the goalkeeper can save you because he's uh, uh, extremely good. At the same time, you can play a very bad game, and a striker scores you the goal, and you win win the game. 
my point here is uh, you can also play fantastic uh, a game and you don't have a good uh, striker uh, who can finish the game or you have a bad goalkeeper while you lose the game so a goalkeeper and a striker are the key positions to build your team around Michael Jordan there is no I in team but there is an I in win what do I want to say with that very simple you need a key player in your team you need someone who makes the difference you need that person who, who actually make you win the games that is very important at the same time a team is as strong as its weakest link so if you don't know uh, where your weak links are uh, you can uh, anticipate or sorry you can buy like a, a good striker you can buy a good midfielder or whatever um, that makes a difference but if you have a few weak links in your team uh, that's sometimes even more important to work on so know where your weak links are and i mean extremely weak links a strength and weakness analysis what do i look for in a team is very simple we look at technical physical uh, tactical and mental elements uh, what we uh, look for in players let's start with technical as i said we need scoring ability in all three lines in the midfield i'm uh, sorry in the defense midfield and up front uh, preferably have in all three lines scoring ability same you need players with assists uh, uh, Fabregas, player who uh, uh, has a very high uh, percentage of uh, giving assists and that, that will help you. Uh, you can have a scorer in your team but if nobody gives them the balls uh, at the right moment, so you need assist players. Quality goalkeeper, I, I assessed already, extremely important. Uh, center backs, the core of your defense, left and right, uh, they, they, they uh, are very important. Uh, especially if they can play a long ball and uh, to, to, ki to kill the game uh, when uh, things become difficult. And you don't need to have a, a good build up, but uh, center backs, in my opinion, they need to defend, but especially have good long balls. Quality wing backs, absolutely important. Why? You will be surprised, in my opinion, the wing back, left or right wing back, they are the cause most of the time of uh, goals you get against you. So, uh, good wing backs that are able to play zone defense and uh, man defense man marking is extremely important that quality is key uh, it's very difficult to find uh, good wing backs by the way uh, set piece specialist someone who can make a difference in corners free kicks etc penalties uh, someone who has a or heading during corners it's important with set pieces that you have someone with quality who can score goals Players that create the balance in a team. There's always one player, when he doesn't play, the team is just different. So uh, what that can be, that can be on the mid, most of the times on the midfield, but it can be in, in, in many positions. But there's always one player that makes the balance. Physically, how much length do we have? Very important compared to other teams. Overall power, are we getting outplayed on a physical level? Uh, age of the players we already discussed you need to have a good average age uh, speed of the defenders and attackers are we getting outrun uh, because speed is something that can make a difference in uh, it's a detail in, in in teams that can if you have somebody with speed that can make a difference uh, during games defensively and offensively tactical um, yeah the system of play what system fits best with the available available players we have Players with game experience. You can have a super young team, but you need players who have experience. It's very important, who, who, who create the balance, who can help the others. Uh, double positions, as I said, you need to create competition. Uh, mentally, is one of the most important natural leadership. If a coach doesn't have somebody in the team that uh, can, uh, can uh, is like a extension of himself, uh, then it makes it very difficult. Uh, natural leadership is extremely important. Uh, three character players teams uh, go down most of the time uh, there will be always uh, moments in a game uh, in a during period that it, that you have setbacks then you need at least three character players that pull you through uh, contracts versus comfort zones uh, players who have long-term comfort uh, long-term contracts who are getting comfortable they need to be pushed are they still hungry so you need to be able to have uh, 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 to wake them up by having alternatives and that means as I said with double positions most of the time that that's a good uh, good way to look at it 
uh, conclusions. These conclusions are my conclusions only, or five key points that I think are very important. Uh, let's start with the first one, that is priority uh, position striker and goalkeeper, as I already told before. Secondly, scoring ability in three lines uh, and players with assists. Number three, balance in the team is essential. It's a puzzle, not the sum of the best players. Four, um, sorry, uh, recruiting players and building a team is never a three-week process just before the end, before the season. You have to do way in advance, uh, already plan ahead. Uh, but as I said, I see it so many times that teams in the last moment start preparing the teams. That's why most of them also not succeed. Now five is a very important one, especially looking from my own position because I am a coach. Uh, for me, do you choose a coach based on the name or CV or one that actually fits with the club and can coach? The amount of coaches I see with big CVs who get fired over and over again and getting new jobs and actually coaches who do the effort, do the work in, 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 in long-term thinking and um, maybe sometimes don't get the championship right away but get fired, especially in several parts of the world. A coach is a very important part of recruiting. All right, thank you. Recruitment, choosing a team is an art and you should take time and you should uh, take it very seriously. Unfortunately, I still too many clubs who still see it as a last moment thing. Thank you very much.